How's it going, my YouTube peeps? Back at it again over here with another review. This is not officially an unboxing as as that already been unboxed. But uh, I just wanted to share some thoughts on my experience so far with this UDR. I um, want to also say Happy New Year to all you guys. I hope you guys have started the new year with a bang. Um, and uh, I hope you guys are staying safe and join the first day of the new year with the people that you love the most. Um, but here we go again. Another review here. So basically what I wanted to show you guys, this car has been out um, since 2018, if I'm not mistaken. Um, March, uh, to be specific, I think it was released in March of 2018. Um, it did come out with, as far as I know, there's three different bodies that come in this Traxxas UDR, which is the Fox Edition. It also comes, which you guys see right there, that's the Fox Edition. It also comes with this blue body. Um, the blue and black body. Blue is my favorite color, but I'm not even gonna front that Fox edition. I, I couldn't resist. Um, big fan of it, by the way. Um, I have a few cars that have a Fox edition body, and I'm a big fan. So um, it also came in the rigid, which is that red style, red and black style um, body. Um, First look, amazing. The scale look of the car is phenomenal. Um, so basically, uh, I already took it out the box. I took a cup. Uh, I took it already for a spin a few times. I am uh, super elated with it. Uh, it is a great car. Um, I mean, it runs phenomenal. Uh, uh, a completely different style than what, what you expect you really really got to know what you're doing with this car um, it's not a beginner's car at all for that matter and um, but it's a really good enjoyable car it tends from what I've seen on YouTube I didn't experience it because I learned from people's experience it does roll over um, and, if, and eventually like any other car if you turn uh, uh, the knob way too quick most cars will flip over. Um, this one, because it has a rear uh, uh, lock differential, um, because of the uh, the format of how this car should be used, um, it's going to roll over. Um, but again, I didn't have that experience with it. I, I, I pretty figured I, I figured out pretty quick how to uh, maneuver this car. Um, some of the things that I wanted to share with you guys are the specs. Um, this car does come with a VXL 6S capable ESC. Um, this same ESC is the same one that is used on the E Revo 2.0, and I believe prior to that, uh, the regular, the first version of the E Revo as well. Um, it's also forest capable. Um, this does come with a 2200 kv motor um if you ask me that's plenty of juice that's pumping out of this car um i mean i've seen people that really put some major big cans on this thing on youtube and this thing is a horse i mean this thing could fly um but i i think for now i'm satisfied with this performance and i think i'm going to leave it as is it's a four-wheel drive um uh uh, uh rc um, it also comes with, uh, let's see here, um, with eight shocks. Out of those eight shocks, four of them you could actually um, use to regulate the, uh, I believe, the, with the springs, you could regulate 
the suspension factor on the, uh, on on four of the shocks. Um, it comes with GTR aluminum shocks, which is pretty awesome. One thing that I that actually stood out um, with this purchase is the fact that it came with a light kit. That light kit alone is $150 if you buy it separately. Um, this version here, which I believe the first version, didn't come with the actual light kit. Um, this baby here actually did include it. Yeah, with a, of course, it, 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 it was a little bit more money than the original. But at the end of the day, I think just the light kit alone just makes it look more scaled and more realistic in my opinion um, this is how uh, basically since I'm not gonna unscrew the body it takes 12 screws to actually um, display the actual cage of the um, of the UDR um, I'm just gonna display it by the, from the box and this is how it would look like in the interior um, as you can see from this box there's no way for you to actually get in there and work on your electronics or the motor or anything for that matter so um Trax is from their creative mindset they figured out a way where it could be accessible to you and i and it's not that impossible it's not that hard um which i'll be showing to you in just a few seconds right now um i have been running uh the udr with two 3s 5000 milliamp lipo batteries traxxas batteries um the c charge the c rating is not that high it's only 20 but i was able to you know like again i was able to um actually enjoy this car on success without any major issues the car didn't flip over I think it only flipped over once because I got a little reckless with it. But um but for you know, but this is plenty of, of power with these batteries. Um I am I, I am gonna get some higher C rating batteries um because I want to see what it'll produce with a higher C rating battery. But again, I didn't have a bad experience with these Trax's batteries. Um now just so that I can show you guys a little something about the car. There's a few key details here on this car. Um, hopefully this car ain't gonna flip over on me. But as you can see, this car is beautiful. This car is just amazing in detail. Um, what they did with it is just spectacular. Um, you can see here the actual, I hope, Y'all can see, look at all the travel on this car, man. Look at these shocks. Again, it has the sway bars, which are right here. Um, I mean, so much travel on that suspension. It's bouncy. It, 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 it's, it, it's just a phenomenal feel, guys. It just feels awesome, you know? Um, you got two extra spare tires on top. These are actual um, BF Goodrich tires, they got that bead lock kind of look, but they're not bead locked. Again, guys, it has the bead lock look, but it's not bead locked. These are glued. Um, this also has on the sway bars, it has, um, again, I don't think you guys will be able to see it, but it does have some rubber straps, um, some limiting, uh, lim limiting straps um, made out of rubber. Um, on on the sway bars um as i informed you guys earlier before um it has eight shocks eight gtr shocks in total four of them are adjustable shocks one on each side um the scale look is just ridiculous the way they thought of every detail i mean even the guys inside i mean just look at that man might not be so clear on the camera but it's just incredible um what they thought of um what else i wanted to share with you guys on this car um it's just a beast it's a beast of a car um 
it does come again like I told you guys I was advised that I could unlock the rare diff but I don't want to at this point um, I figured that I keep it locked because the drifting that this car does whether you want to ride it on the road my suggestion is maybe you might want to go ahead and, 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 uh, and unlock it if you have that kind of self-control where you're not going to go crazy on the road leave it locked leave it locked but if you want to ride it on the dirt how it is designed to run if you want to enjoy the drifting style how it performs drifting with the rear differentials locked keep it that way keep it that way i mean i think i'm going to keep it that way for now um because i don't plan on riding it on the road as much um i don't want to ruin this precious body um, but I will be running it on dirt often. So, and, and, and I'm, and so far I'm, I have already. So I enjoyed the performance that I got from it on dirt. Um, one other thing I wanted to, uh, inform you guys. Um, let's see here. This is, I wanted to show you guys the bottom of it so basically as i informed you guys earlier you guys don't there's no actual room once you take off this body there is no actual room to actually work on your electronics so Traxxas decided to create a way where you can access everything just from here so just so that you know right here is where we would put our battery this is pretty thick so it'll keep everything pretty much prote protected the wires the batteries will all be very protected in there um, as you can see it has this holder here this little latch or door here latch where you could actually go ahead and install your batteries you could have 4S batteries fit comfortably in there and you could have your two 3S batteries fit in there. Um, honestly, the the two 3S batteries that I got, the Traxxas batteries, they were a bit of a challenge a little bit to actually try to get this thing latched in there and locked. Um, but with a little maneuvering, a little work, it'll lock on. So, um, but yeah, but everything in there is nice and secure. Um, this does come with a little handle here where you open and close open and close to keep this door basically locked in um, right here would be your motor your ESC everything would be in this area here I plan on getting a fan so I'm definitely gonna eventually have to get in there and um, uh, work on this um, through here so it'll be a first time for me to actually open that up soon um, but basically, guys, everything um, was well thought of on the build of this UDR. It does not ride like an Armor Mojave. The Mojave is a freaking beast, guys. This, I'm not going to lie, is fun. It is super, super fun to ride. And again... It takes some experience to ride this. A beginner will not be able to ride this. Um, but uh, I, it's a hell of fun of a car, guys. A very fun car. I mean, I would honestly recommend it. Again, it's not a Mojave. A Mojave, you just, just turn on the control, you plug on your battery, and you go bashing. You, you'll send that to the moon. You know what I mean? This one is not on that. It's not on that uh, 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 level. You know what I mean? This, this takes a little bit more of, of maneuvering and figuring out than, than a Mojave. You know? Um, but it's a fun ride. A fun, fun ride. I really enjoyed it. And the fact that it comes with everything you could think of on a car. I mean, it, just, it comes with these bumpers. One on the top, one on the bottom. The light kit right in between. Um, has the lights up here on top. Another, the lights back here. Um, one thing that uh, uh, caught my attention is that when you hit the brakes, 
the lights turn right back on. I mean, it, it, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's really, really awesome. So, basically, guys, this is my review for the car. I have no complaints whatsoever. Um, it was well made, and uh, it's just nice to look at. It's nice to look at. So, um, I hope you guys had, a again, a great New Year's Day today. Please stay safe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a buddy, tell whoever. But make sure you tell somebody. And uh, hope you guys have a great day. God bless you guys. And until next time, I'm going to holler.